What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Paper Mario in the last part. We, um... We basically got our... We got our ass kicked by Bowser and got, got through Goomba, Goomba Village. This part, we, we got a Goom now, which uh, one thing I like to do is... Uh, I like to get a few of these. I like to leave and go back to Goomba Village so they respawn. And like, um, yeah, this is going to be essential a little bit later, why we need Goom Nuts. I think I'm going to get about three of these, yes. But anyway, this is, um, this is now, we're now on the uh, pleasant path, I think it is. We're going to make the uh, first jump, we're going to make the first jump. Hey Mario, during a battle you can change the order of attack with Z. I can attack first if you want, don't mind at all, just keep in mind, okay? So if you, if we see Goom Mario's attack, you can headlock and tattle, which you can see... I'm not going to go too much in a title because this game doesn't really have a title log. Thousand Year Door has a title log, but like, I don't know, it's not really too worth it, I feel, to, find, to use title in this game. But yeah, Goomba's HPs are usually two. Okay, so that is four star points, so that's mainly to show off Goombario's moves. I guess we can show the title at least once. Um... I guess we can kind of show it at least once, kind of demonstrate, just more demonstrate. This is a Goomba. A Goomba is what you call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait, I'm one of them. Max HP, two HP, attack power, one defense power, you can jump on them, whack them with your hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> nice fourth wall break. So yeah, they have two HP. I pretty much all the Goombas in this area have two HP. We're almost halfway to a level up, and um, which is very solid. Wow, we got a mushroom. We're gonna. I think we're gonna dodge that uh paratrooper now. We're gonna fight the spike Goomba though. The thing, of, the other thing about Goombario is he can't head bonk spiked enemies, so we're gonna have to, um, we're just gonna have to do this. Except we're gonna take a little bit of damage, not enough to a death though. We're probably gonna have to use that mushroom we just got. It doesn't work on her because we got five XP, at, we got five star points out of that. Anyway, so the badge we're about to get, anyway, so we're gonna use our mushroom. The badge we're about to get is the close call badge, and, and is, uh, it's uh, when Mario's in danger, then may sometimes fail to attack. If you're gonna rely on like danger strats, this is a really good badge to use. I'll get more into danger strats later. And you know what? Let's just show off the fire flower. We got nine star points out of that. Very solid. We're gonna use, um, so, um, for this upcoming section, make sure you have power jump equipped. Maybe also close call equipped. Hey, hey, hold it right there. Yeah, you suspicious guy, don't move. Ah, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It is a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Brothers. That's me, Red Goomba, my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's move on, Blue Goomba. Oh, yeah, let's do it, my Red Brother. So, yeah, the uh, Blue Goomba, you're going to want to uh, basically attack them with Power Jump. You want to, um, my strategy to fight them is usually um, just use Power Jump on both of them. So, I'm going to use Power Jump to fight, use them, save them on the Red Goomba. So we're gonna, I think a couple more hits and Blue Goomba should be taken out. Yeah, he's taken out. So if you take out one of them, the other says, Blue, Blue Goomba, got my little brother, you'll pay for that, Mario. So yeah, all we have left is Red Goomba, so just Power Jump him. Um, power Jump does three damage for now, so um, we don't have um, much F. We, we can use a Goomba, but I want to save those. I think, uh, I think Red Goomba has 7 HP and Blue Goomba has 6 HP. So one more hit will take him out. And anyway, I'm 
actually getting pretty close to a level up. Yeah, I'll let you go for now. Anyway, we're gonna go back and get that, uh, we're gonna go back and get that, uh, health block. We're gonna get our FP healed up. Anyway, so, um... If we check out the sign, give us King's Fortress ahead. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Hey, look, Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge over the other side. I wonder where that happened to went. So, Mario, it's true, you've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get, because I, the great and powerful King Yumo, is will see to is that if that you advance no further. You hit that Mario no further, like not one step. Are you scared, little man? Bah, you're a little scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, Mario. Let's get him. Really, meet my wrath, Mario. You'll know never be. Anyway, so we're fighting King Goomba as well as the two Goomba brothers. Yeah, the Goomba brothers are nowhere near as strong as they were before. Be my King Goomba. We got your back. Give it to me. Hey, Mario, I think maybe I'll take the Goombas first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we're just feeding, feeding them up back there. Anyway, so we're gonna... The way I usually fight him is I usually use a power jump on Goomba King. And then I use Goombario to headbunk the tree. And that takes out both the Goombas. They don't give us the amount of XP they did before. So they kind of act more as regular Goombas. He, and Goomba King has two attacks. He has that, which he only used once, as well as a kick. I think one more hit also he should be dead. Yeah, he's dead. And we actually get a level up out of this. This is our first level up. So, um... Anyway, so, um... We have the option of leveling up HP, FP, and BP. Now, for this level up method, I will only recommend this method for veteran players of the game. I don't recommend it in the first playthrough. We're going to focus on increasing FP and BP for now. We're going to... I usually do FP and BP first and HP last. Whoa, whoa, how can I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool, victory. Anyway, so if we go over here, we get another star piece. So if we check out our, we check out our stats, that is uh, three star pieces we've got so far. And if we check the bush... Oh, Mario, good fight and all that, but I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange twist in range, definitely not press it. It's dangerous, you understand? You what? You already pressed it! Oh no! Look, the bridge! Now we can cross and continue our journey, all right? So that's pretty much, um, what we can, that's... Um, if I, an interesting fact is if you go over here behind this fence and I uh, hit this block, another block, we get a super shroom which restores 10 HP. Very nice item for have this for the game. Look, there's Kami Koopa. We have the option to continue to save, which we're going to save and continue. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toe Town now. 
What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I used to start making King because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily. What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your violence. Try to be calm. Goomba King is, Goomba King is small time. I have a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold a star rod, you're definitely invincible. You can beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. That's the second time they've used that line. Yes, yes, very good. Guahaha. By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your handcuffed subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? Is that the one at Cooper Brothers Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Cooper Brothers defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! Here come the Cooper Brothers! Uh-huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool! Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba game was doing it, even he couldn't beat Mario. Blue Rocket, real King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba game was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, we got, we got going on in the power of the teamwork. See, next thing about these guys that when I was a kid, I used to call them the Teenage Mutant Ripoff Koopas. Today we can put the uh, Hurt and Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. Um, that's the spirit cell at Koopa Brothers. Show our king that special talk you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh. That, this is out. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh, yeah. Excellent ready. Really. I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance to finish with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Brothers, absolutely, how about that Captain Star Thread on Lock Up in your Fortress? Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. You know where it is here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Go back to the Fortress and guard the Star Spirit! <laughs> anyway, so now we're back at the, uh, now we're back at the, uh, now we're back at Pleasant Path, so, um... The Sleepy Sheep, which uh, we're gonna need, we, it's not really one of my favorite items in this game, to be 100% honest. If we get this badge, this is, uh, this is hammer, bro. One enemy in the hammer, this is gonna attack enemies that are in the air. Very nice badge. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is an uproar. The princess kidnapped. It's very, it's very costly. It's very castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save our highness. Now, interesting thing, if we go back to Mario's house, there's Luigi. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Whoa, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. And you're all right. After all the castle craziness, I was very worried about you. I ran up to the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh, and who are you? I'm King Mario. Nice to meet you. I see. Very just great. You're already excited about your Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after the castle, and I can't leave. Oh well. Take care, Mario. Okay. Now, Luigi is actually one of the few people in Peach's Castle that made it out before Bowser put it up in the sky, so, um, that's interesting. So, um, this right here, the shock board, this kind of goes on 100%. So, 100% is all badges, there's 80 of them in the game, there's all star pieces, except there's two categories we have not seen yet. We will see those eventually. So, if we, uh, another way we can do it, another thing we can do is we can read, uh, Mario's letters... It's empty right now, however, and we can also go to sleep in Mario's bed. It's a nice little piece of trivia. I guess that's all we can really do in uh, Mario's house. There's going to be some points in between chapters when we're going to want to go to Mario's house. Okay, so if we, uh... Yeah, and this is the first of the shops in, uh, Mar and this is the, the first of the shops where we can buy any item we want. 
I'm actually gonna buy a fire flower because I have a feeling I'm gonna need one later. And if we uh, talk to this guy, we can actually we can actually check items. So I'm gonna check uh, a couple of goom nuts because I know we're gonna need them. So I, I guess that's what we can do for now. And now uh, if we go here, above us at the top floor is the dojo. We're here always training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here. Which is the case, the dojo is closed. The letter just arrived saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. So yeah, there's not really too much we can do in Toad Town. If we go here, however, we get another star piece. Go here, Merlin is out. So um, and another thing that's gonna another thing about Toad Town is this is the bad shop. However, hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting to bump a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up though. I want to see. You back here when we open it. An interesting thing is, if we actually go here, wait till we wait till he kind of goes out of the way. I, I want to. I'm trying to see if I can get this right. If we, if we destroy this, if we, he says, "Stop by again after we open, okay, buddy?" He kind of gets rude. Talk to his kid. Hey, Missy, you're guest smart. You have a death print open the shop. You know, he's gonna wait a little while. However, if we try to go south, anywhere south. Build these materials to be stacked by the road, but they came down after the airport hit. Of course, it's impossible to go to the south side of the town with all the scattered wood. Don't worry, we're resecting as well as the impossible. I know it's gonna give you a pretty fast round. Now, Paper Mario speedrunning is actually very, very broken. Sp any Google any Paper Mario speedrun, they'll find ways to skip this bypass and as well as like skip entire chapters. It's really insane, like what these people are able to do. One thing we can also do is we can go to the post office when you read the letters for a uh, partner and say, look, greetings, thing is Terry Carey, I deliver letters. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can write any letters that arrive for you for your other partners. Please stop by now and then you check and see if you mail. Well, you see now some mail. Which one do you like to read? We have a letter from Goombario, from the red and blue Goombas. Here you go. Goombario, you were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think we can be friends? Please say yes. We'll be right, Red and Blue Goom Brothers. So that's all the letters we have for now. So, um, we're also gonna fulfill our duties and go to Shooting Star Summit. You look, Peter's castle's gone. Princess Castle, Castle was here just a little while ago. Wow. I was in the castle and I started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. So he also made it out before the uh, castle was up in the sky. So, um, anyway, so we're now in Shooting Star Summit. Now, there's one thing, I, one last thing I want to show in Shooting Star Summit. Actually, I kind of want to do something first. I want to get this uh, star piece right here because now we're in shooting star summit. However, there's gonna be there's a there's a main purpose that the uh, star pieces have, and I'm kind of gonna sh I'm kind of gonna show it right here. This right here is a uh, is the uh, Merlo's house, Merle's house. If you talk to her, ah, my hello there, Mario. This puzzle will type for John. If you want your fortune, right, tell me over the counter. Yeah, so, and this this little thing is an EB is for later. She can basically give you, and if you talk to her, this is Mervilles. She can basically give you hints on where to find star pieces or badges. So that's nice. So if we talk to the person on the second floor, this is Merle. I'm the famous Merlo of Shooting Star Summit, and I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, do you have any star pieces in your soft school bag for them? How about swap? We're gonna buy, um, let's see. All these are really good, but I think I'm gonna buy Pretty Lucky. It requires three FP, but um, if you can actually stack Pretty Lucky with close call, let's just say enemies can miss you pretty frequently, but we have we need a BP level up before we can equip it. So um, unless we use like unless we unequip power jump or um stuff like that. So now we're gonna do our main purpose in a shooting star summit. We're gonna actually um we're just gonna do um There's Eldstar. I wonder if 
me why your towels over him. He's an old star spirit. His name's Eldstar. He reminds me of my grandpa. He's a real person who lives in Star Haven, way up on the sky. I wonder if he's, why he's here. He's in Star Haven. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our house in Star Haven, a place that's high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you there's something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. That Star Rod is powerful beyond belief and can grant it any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes, like for instance, I like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When we found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came up and stole the star so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content, he seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It's the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirit to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must give the Star Rod back to Bowser and return to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He's terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirit are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, we're only an illusion. We're using all strength to communicate you over a great distance, but even our strength is fading. We've been caught in her being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, we must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser to save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You're our last hope and we will. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the Princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. I think I'm going to cut it off this part of Paper Mario, so next time on Paper Mario, we will advance more. See you guys then.